Hello, this is Ali Ciardo, and in this lesson, I'm going to quickly walk you through how to use Hootsuite to set up a free monitoring and listening post. First things first, you'll need to go to hootsuite.com and create a free account. And they do have paid accounts, but for the purposes of what we're going to do today, you can just set up a free account for yourself. Follow the directions to get it set up, and once you're set, you'll come here to this home screen, and you can see that I'm here under streams. As you can see, I haven't set anything up yep up yet so i'm going to go ahead and create first my tab by clicking this plus sign here and i'll call this twitter search hit enter and then i'm going to go ahead and add my stream and i'm going to search now remember that boolean logic if i click show examples it will actually show me the different options i have so i can use boolean logic to do my search if you're struggling with that, you can also go ahead to, and use keyword and just put in three separate keywords. So play around with it. If you have trouble with length, you might have to break them up into multiple searches. For mine, I'm just doing Airbnb. It's a fairly simple search. I'll click Add Stream. And here I have all of my references to Airbnb. Just to show you, you can also do another stream. And let's say here I want to do Airbnb mentioned along with customer service. And I'll put customer service in quotes and hit add stream. So now anytime somebody mentions Airbnb along with customer service, that will come up. Now you don't have to do this. This is more like an alert monitoring that we would be doing. You don't actually have to set up your alerts. I just want you to set up your basic keywords in this case. And actually this would be a duplicate because I'm already searching Airbnb and that kind of crosses into this. So again, you don't have to set up the duplicates. You don't have to set up all of these different subcategories. I just want you to get the basics set up for now. Next, we're going to look at blogs. So I'm going to create a new tab and call this blog search. Hit enter. And this time when I add my stream, I'm going to go to apps. And now I already have RSS Reader installed, but if you haven't yet installed it, it will be a free app and you'll just scroll down until you see RSS Reader and then you can install it. In this case, it's already installed. I just hit plus and let it load. There we have it. And these apps can be a little bit slow. They can be a little bit finicky. So they just take some patience as you're setting up. Now I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to add my RSS feed. Now a note here, going back to these being very finicky. I love using Google Reader, or actually, sorry, Google Blog Search to search for blogs. But for whatever reason, recently I've been having issues with Google Blog Search. It just does not want to accept the feed. So in this case, I'm going to use the Yahoo Blog Search. Now, what you'll have to do is use that free, that list of free tools that I've offered you and play around and see what works and what doesn't. You'll probably find that some have RSS feeds that don't really accept, don't really work for you, where others will work. So again, you'll have to play around a little bit. I'll type in Airbnb and hit search. And then I find the RSS feed, so it's right here. And then I just copy this, come over here, and I paste it into my feed and click Add Feed. And once it's added, you can actually add multiple feeds. You'll see that they'll all show up here. So you can all put them together, or you can create separate tabs to separate them out. Then just give it a name. So yeah, let's do Yahoo blog search, save. And we have our results. Again, you can go ahead and add other streams. You can do the same thing. You can set this up really however you want, whatever you're comfortable with, it's personal preference. Just be sure that you're not overly duplicating searches. If you already have one type of search in one place, you don't need to necessarily put it in the other. You might combine misspellings into one search. You might separate them out. It's really up to you. What I want you to do once that's all set is just show me a screen grab here, a screen grab here to show me the searches that you have set up, write up what you've done, and then send me that PDF as the assignment. And a few final notes. Again, it will be finicky. It will be slow. You have to be really patient as you're setting this up. I've actually cut out some of the time just to make it easier for you to watch this, but it is actually quite slow in the process of getting it set up. Finally, if you'd like to play around with some of the extra features and set up some personal searches and additional tabs, feel free to do that. Hootsuite's a great tool for managing your own presence, your own social platforms. So feel free, go ahead and set that up too. Add your own personal searches, then you can keep everything in one place really easily. Feel free to reach out with any questions. You can reach me at osmer, A-L-L, at msu.edu, 
or on Twitter at Allie O.